Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. Today we are making my favorite favorite and our top seller Oats and Kevlin Slap Soap. Now I am adding lye solution to our butters and oil mixture. Ooh. It's gonna come all buttery, you have to see the texture right now. It's gonna come really 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 buttery. Yes, I'm recording everything afterwards because while making the soap, you can't really speak because of the lye. And uh, did you know that lye evaporates after making the soap? Like the soap has to cure for like three to six weeks. So I have just added kaolin and oats in the mixture of our lye and oils, which are blended together really nicely. Now I'm just going to swirl it really nice so there are no clumps and uh, yeah we are done. So I've got this soap to the trays, trays means where the lye and oils are not separating. If you're someone new who wants to make soap this is a really easy video for you but make sure that all your calculations are done really nicely so you don't mess up with the recipe. So this one is one of our unscented soap collection which does not include any essential oil in the recipe. Let me know which soaps you like more, scented soap with essential oils or unscented soaps. Let me know in the comments below. Now I am going to transfer the soap into the mold and let it sit for 24 to 48 hours before unmolding. has come out really buttery look at the texture it is so beautiful now i'm going to do the essential step tap 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 this really helps the soap to get rid of any air pockets in the soap and the cut is really smooth afterwards now i'm just going to put oats on the top of the soap and give it the texture that it requires so this was my oats and kaolin making video you guys thank you so much for joining this if you liked my video please subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video and support my small business thank you